If you don't know me already from the previous videos, I'm Cheryl. Hi, I'm Ava. And I'm Bella. We are so excited to share with you all our highlights from our final session. In this session, we observed some videos of Alenka's daughter, Ava, and Sarah's son, Dean, playing in various situations. This gave us the opportunity to recognize and identify different aspects of active learning and the impact the facilitator has on the learner. For example, we saw how much more engaging play is for the learner when there are fewer demands. Yes, another thing that I noticed was that there's definitely a need for risk in play. Individuals with young developmental ages must have the ability to independently explore their field without restriction from the adult, which allows for a bit of risk to be involved. Exactly, this kind of risk is essential to allow people to develop and grow individually. Something to definitely watch for, aside from safety obviously, is the repetition of a certain self-soothing activity. For some, this may look like singing or a certain song, repeating a tapping pattern, or even putting objects in their mouths. Great point, Cheryl. These kinds of nonverbal communicators are crucial to understanding all people, especially those with disabilities that make traditional verbal communication challenging. After learning all of this amazing information, it was so enlightening and incredible to see it all come together when we watched Dean and Ava play. This is the cow. There's the chicken. Pig. Horse. There is so much that we can take away from this information to applying to the education system. I often see the students on my high school campus doing activities that are not meaningful for their education. Students with young developmental ages are often told to do tasks like water plants or deliver mail. These are examples of passive learning and they do not provide the opportunity for organic active learning. These kinds of activities do not allow the student to grow and engage. It feels more like a chore or busy work than learning. By implementing active learning in the programs at schools, students will experience exponential learning benefits. I cannot wait until we are able to present this information to educators who can hopefully make active learning styles of play more accessible so that everyone can experience that incredible way of learning. I cannot agree more. This project has been amazing and we are so privileged to be a part of it. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn more about our experiences. Have a magical day.